Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to record your voice, how to record your acoustic guitar, and get it into your DAW. Now the magic is, is we're gonna use this really, really cool mic. It's called the Fafine K669. It's really easy to use, and you have the ability to mute yourself and raise up your input gain. So let's get right into it. You ready? Here we go. All right, so look, it's pretty easy from here. All you want to do is set the input device as USB in your DAW. If you really want to make sure that the mic is talking to the DAW, just go into your sound preferences and make sure that you can see the microphone here, okay? So input, yep, set it up as the mic. All right, so other than that, what we're going to do is check the microphone. You see that I'm record enabled key command for that is control R. You see that I'm um, input monitoring key command for that is control I inside of logic. And then now all we have to do is play. So to make this video fun, I thought I would use some great technology. It's called smart tempo. So the idea is that I'm not going to play to a click track. I'm just going to let it rip. I'm just going to play freely. But because of the technology that's available to us these days, you don't have to get it perfect. All right, so I'm gonna set my new recording to on and I'm going to trim the start. I'm gonna hit record and here we go. Okay, so it's just as simple as that. You want to get back in here, let the DAW analyze the transients, and just like that, you got yourself a track with no click, but it's kind of morphing to your playing style. You know what I mean? Here we go. Okay, so now we have a basic idea. It sounds really good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of compression on here just to make sure that everything is nice and even and soft. Just barely hit the meter here. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I have a soft knee so that it doesn't really hit it too hard when it does hit it. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna track vocals. Here we go. So I'm going to make sure that I have auto-tune up and yeah, running, auto-tune artist. So this is live. If you know anything about this version of auto-tune, it works live on the spot. And so I know this is in the key of E major. So we'll set that up and then I'll set myself up as that. And let's give it a go, shall we? Here we go. Just like that, we got ourselves a viable vocal take. All right, let's check it out. Oh, 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 now, if you wanted to take that to another level, you could use AutoTune's other plugin of choice. It's called, from what I remember, EFX. And so what this does is it kind of sets up these presets for you, right? So let me try something like, let's do, let's see if we can come up with something nice here. Nothing too intense, here we go. Set the key. All right, set the input type. So 
that's pretty cool. Sounds like there's a couple people singing at the same time. Let's try this one. So that one sounds interesting. It's like if it was singing a third up, right? So if it was kind of like singing a different note, you could include that. You can create vocals for yourself, some backup vocals if you want to. What else we got here? Let's go octave down. Let's keep going here. Cool, and conversely, it doesn't necessarily have to stay in one genre, right? We could take this to a whole nother place, just use another drum kit, perhaps even change the tempo or something like that, and then boom, all of a sudden you've got something different all together. <laughs> So the best thing about the microphone, besides having the stand, USB compatibility, really easy to use, really easy to connect, is the fact that you have the ability to mute the microphone and control your input gain right from the source. Now this is usually a problem with these kinds of microphones, but with the Fine mic, it looks like they got it down to a science. So again, highly recommend this mic. Pretty sweet, the K669. K669B, really nice microphone if you are looking to podcast, looking to record your music. I like the quality of it, sounds very rich. And uh, just remember that when you do record, it's forward facing, and so you wanna make sure that you get the sound coming out of the front. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, go ahead and sub, smash the like and the share button, and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers.